Hi everybody. Uh, this is going to be a two-part video on how to implement a web scraper. Um, so the idea really came about when um, I started to uh, try to track different types of uh, technologies and overall how popular they are within the um, uh, the job market and I wanted to just kind of look at this data over time. So I started off um, a couple of years ago just keeping track of a Excel file um, and then you know I started off with a couple of simple criteria. Uh, I go on to uh, you know careerbuildermonster.com and I would do searches on the website um, and then what I would do is just for that given criteria I would just jog down the number of search results returned um, and I would repeat this and uh, across a couple of different sites and eventually got to a point where I was keeping track of a good handful of sites uh, and then at least a good couple of dozen um, criteria that I was interested in looking at uh, over time. So this obviously became pretty tedious. Um, used to start off, off uh, once a month as a couple of minutes uh, a day and then it ended up being, you know, turned into a good 15-20 minute session. Um, uh, every month to keep track of these numbers. So what better way to um, uh, you know, put together an example of a uh, ADF application that does automatic scraping than to start off by building uh, this example. So I went ahead and I built a uh, cron task now to perform these uh, scrapes for me. Um, so this is one of the visualization examples that I've built after I got my data. Um, so you can see that I've, I'm tracking a couple of different sites and um, you can see that the criteria is like Eclipse, JDeveloper, Visual Studio and so forth are the criteria that I'm submitting against uh, those sites and then I'm capturing the results in the uh, MySQL database which I'm using to, um, to implement this uh, DBT component for, for the uh, visualization. So um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do this in the uh, next video.